Okay, all right, I'm back uh, with a, another um, sketchbook dirty laundry airing uh, reveal here. And um, so the last one I, I did was, my, you know, my, my, my real, like my quote-unquote, like throwaway uh, sketchbooks. But this one is um, a, a little bit more... Um, this one is a, 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 a little bit more more precious, meaning that like, it's it's a hard cover and this is a moleskin. So the paper in here, you know, is um, it's a heavier weight. Um, these sketchbooks are a little bit more expensive. I think they cost maybe about uh, twenty bucks or something like that. Uh, in this sketchbook, we're probably going to see more of um, uh, some more sketches and quick sketches of uh, of uh, the models that I that I do in my my life drawing classes. Okay. So, okay, uh, this here, um, I can't remember this. Now, this might might have been based off of um, not life drawing, but I, I might have been uh, doing a study of a Glenn Vilpu drawing, actually, for, for this one. Uh, this one is just, oh, was just uh, uh, a pen, uh, an, an ink, ink pen drawing that I, that I did. Of just of a tree. I was just trying to get this feeling of like of a trying to trying to do like a simple composition here, you know. Um, uh, this person, um, and I and I'm not I'm not happy with this very very much because um, uh, this is one of my models, um, Mia Valentine. She's a she's a great model. Um, she has a perf perfect 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 body and um she um does have some background as, as a dancer and um yeah um i was trying to well here yeah that that's 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 her body that that's what her body is like you know she she's a, a little bit um uh when i say full i mean full like almost like in a slightly athletic way she's not that big you know but um but she she definitely has has a, a nice nice solid body I couldn't get that face right for some reason. Um, you know, these are generally like the measurements, um, but I just couldn't get that face right. Um, also, the the um, this is the pose that she did, but it's does it, it it lacks a little bit of the the emotion um, that that um that at least I was trying to read it into that pose from before. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if you can see this. You know, maybe I'll I'll zoom in. But uh, these are some uh, some compositions. Some, sometimes I, I I do I do roughs of uh, of um, of compositions that I like, um, and I'll just like break it down as just like like shapes, forms, and like stick figures. Um, I think these two are from uh, Ilya Repine, actually. Um, yeah, I think this one is um, someone who's like underwater here, but. So yeah, there's like that. Like, someone's like sitting on top of the water, like here. I think maybe on here, like this one's under the water, and there's some mermaids here. Um, here is a is an execution <laughs> that's about to happen. Some someone's gonna get it here. Um, and you can see how everything is is quite, it's quite um, uh, vertical here. Uh, so, um, but there's still there's still there's for some reason you know, the the unevenness creates a, a rhythm. Um, this. This one might be a John Buscema composition that I that I was trying to understand. Um, yeah, and keep in mind, though, John Buscema had a big influence uh, from from Jack Kirby, um, and I think I might have mentioned it in the in the last uh, video. You know that Jack Kirby always exploited you know composing things where things were like pushing out to the corners. Um, that's that's really what this made things like really. Sorry, that's what always made the the composition have, always feel like I have a sense of like movement or explosion all the time. Um, I think this is one of I can't remember which model this is, um, but this is one from one of my life drawing classes. Um, this is probably an, another model is a friend of mine named um, Kai. Um, she's a really great, really great model. Um, she's she's a uh, uh, modern dancer and pole dancer, and she has a, an incredibly 
muscular body. Um, but she's really small and really, very, very strong, but really great artist. But um, there's, there's that one. Uh, oh, okay. These are quick sketches I did of um, Katie. I think this. I think this. This is Katie. Uh, Katie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this 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 is Katie. Kate Katie is is a burlesque dancer um, here in in Tokyo, and um, I think these drawings were like maybe um, like one minute drawings, uh, most likely maybe at the at the most. Um, yeah, these 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 are like like one minute, may, maybe maximum like um, two or three minute, but I, I doubt it. I, the whole point was not to spend so much time on terms of like the detail, but just getting like the uh, the feeling of of the gesture. Yeah, this this is definitely Katie. This is definitely Katie. Um, this was Katie, but um, <coughs> excuse me. This was Katie, but I, I wasn't satisfied with 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 the uh, with the head and the face, and I kept I kept reworking it, reworking it. Sorry about that. Um, I made the mistake of like making the head too small. And like now, you know, I mean, it's fine to make it look statuesque, but but Katie doesn't have pro pro proportions like that. Uh, here are some more, um, maybe Jack Kirby or John Buscema, uh, compositions, fi fi figure compositions that I have here. This uh, was from a a trip. That I that I took last year uh, with a few friends of mine uh, to um, to Nagasaki uh, to the um, Koto Islands, and um, these now these drawings I actually like, and these these were just like quick sketches of uh, my friends you know who were just uh, walking around and looking around and stuff like that. Um, these I actually like. The, the, these these drawings came came out okay. Uh, the, these are just quick sketches of the cameraman um, that that was with us, and um, you know you know this this definitely says a lot. It's in, it's in terms of um, how he moved and you know how he shifted his weight and things like that. I didn't spend you know more than than a couple of minutes on each one of the, these drawings, you know, and uh, I think when I was drawing drawing these I was completely chill you know I was relaxed and had no hang-ups at the time um, wasn't smoking anything you know I was just I was just really I was I was just I was just uh, cool at that at that moment you know so I, I wasn't really caring about you know the end result you know I was just trying to capture what, what was there so um, here are some more uh, anatomy drawings here this is all I'm sorry I'll come back to that this is also from the Goto Island trip um, you know, some. Uh, this was on on the airplane. Um, one of the stewardesses that was that was wearing a mask um, there. So, um, I'm not sure what that is. I don't know that it might be a composition actually. I don't know. I have to look at that. But it's anatomy anatomy studies here. Leg. Uh, I think I was trying to work out like that that nice that nice teardrop shape. That you get like in the um, in the quadricep here on, on the inside of of the thigh. Um, this is like the anatomy of like un underneath um, a dog, pretty much. I think I was I was comparing you know like what um, how the anatomy uh, compares with um, a human um, because um, you know dogs or you know four legged animals you know they do have something similar to like a pectoralis, um, but you you can see like it it kind of um, it's a, it's it's it doesn't insert quite the same way. It does insert to like what the equivalent of like what um, a a deltoid would be, but um, but it's a little, little bit different here. So um, so you so you guys you know you you know when you're drawing you know you should be you know again like working things out you know um, in terms of anatomy and 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 you know not just human anatomy anatomy but uh, but animal anatomy as well. Uh, this is from a life drawing class here, um, male male model. So I, I do draw males here. Uh, these drawings, okay. So these were all inspired by some other artist. Um, these monsters were inspired from I think it was um, Joe Kubert. 
actually i think i was i was trying to work out something there because he he had the joe joe kubert was a, was a great comic book artist um and um he um I, I i i'm not so much of a fan of his method of rendering you know but um but man he you know he was a he was a solid draftsman and you know and all of his all of his characters you know they 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 read and they all had a, a had a wonderful texture so i was trying to work that out of course there's another frazetta here of course okay uh this stuff i think i was trying to work out some um understanding some of the ink work that i see like in some japanese manga uh particularly this one artist um uh takahiko inue uh, again i wasn't trying to copy his work uh, I was just trying to like, understand like how his process again you know when when you're drawing you know I don't recommend just copying you know you want to draw like with understanding you know so I was trying to understand like his process in terms of, like you know how you know how he would do uh his inks and things like that um this is straight from um how to draw comics the marvel way you know I think this that's a Spider-Man punching again. Again, you know, I wasn't again not really trying to copy it, but I was trying to understand, like, you know, and, and, and the drawing that John did, you know, the, the pencils were very, were pretty tight and finished, and I was trying to understand that. I was trying to understand, like, how does he get, you know, what what is what is is his is his purpose or his mindset for, yeah, like doing the the tight finishes with with the pencils in there, okay. Um, also, yeah. Also, I, I like. Also, I like John's uh, drapery as well. I think I was trying to understand that well, because um, uh, in terms of uh, drapery, in terms of like like uh, for like a suit, um, because obviously you know you have like the the musculature underneath it. But in terms of if someone like wearing um, a a jacket, you know, like a a blazer jacket or something like that, um, you know, how that's gonna be like pulling off, you know, off 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 the um, off the shoulder like that. Um, these drawing well, it's John Buscema stuff here. Um, some notes, notes in terms of um, on value, um, mass, shape design. Make notes for you guys. Guys, always make notes. You should always be make, make, making notes uh, in terms of uh, you know if if you if you realize something, um, and um, you have like this little like some little. Um, um, epiphany you know uh, you should write it down write it down um, this here actually that's a redo of one of my um, my models um, that's uh, Yawa Kinchan uh, she's um, kind of a, um, a a not I want to say bodybuilder but but she she's I guess a bodybuilding fitness uh, competitor um, it's Japanese she it's a little bit rare. She 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 has a you know like a, like a, like a Western style kind of body, which is kind of rare to see in 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 uh in Japan. Yeah, I put it to you like this. You know, she has a kind of body that that uh, that uh, comic book artists do of Japanese women in comics because they because like like characters like like Psylocke or I don't know you know pick pick whichever you know um, you know female. Uh, ninja action marvel comics character they they always have like these they always have like bodies like you know comparable to to western western european women and um i know you know not 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 to stereotype in in it, but um i'm sorry you know the majority of japanese women are, are you know they they're they're not designed that way you know they you know they they usually they usually do not stand um um yeah like six or seven heads high you know they, they usually stand roughly usually uh about like five heads <laughs> five heads high you know five and a half you know so but but yawa kinshan you know she she has that that kind of body actually you know she she's a little bit rare so um these were inspired by uh ronald searle ronald searle was um uh was a a uk illustrator who was uh captured in the um uh, he was captured by the Japanese during World War II, and uh, when he was uh, when he was imprisoned, one of the things that uh, he did and became most very famous for was was drawing his captors. 
you know, so I was inspired by these. Um, here is a, a flower sack I was trying to work out here. Um, I put a little bit more, a um, little bit more, more, more weight on here, or at least, or, or I was trying to fill up the, the volume here, because again, you know, the flower sack is really, it's just a, a stand-in for, for the torso. So, uh, who is this? This might be Tef again. I think this is Tef. This is Tef, actually. It's um, a Pieta. Not the Pieta, not Michelangelo's, but this one version of a Pieta that I did here. Yeah, this this is Tef. This is definitely Tef. And Tef has this kind of body. She has this, this very beautiful body. It's it's almost like she's... Like she, she has a... The lower part of her body, it, it, it's shaped like, like an upside-down Valentine. You know? Um... You know, and she has like this this cute kind of like this peanut shape as well. So, um, but yeah, that's that that's that's her. Um, maybe this this is Tef also um, here. I couldn't. I don't know where it, where it, no. I don't know. This 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 might be something that I was working out again. Another, you know, want to be yeah. This this is definitely like a, a Busema. You know, yeah, I, I, that you, I, I, you know, um, I'll be a study here. Okay, yeah, I think I put a JB for John Busema, so I, I, I would know. Um, here are some, uh, some compositions, uh, composition studies that I, that I, I'm breaking down here. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I can't comment on all of these drawings because because uh, I draw so much. Sometimes I, I forget, you know, what, you know, I I, I forget, you know, what what I, when and uh, when and where I did it, you know. Uh, it's another torso study, another Bissema, uh take off here. Uh, in terms of um, rhythm rhythms um, in in space for for the torso. More more quick studies here. So. Oh yeah, I I I took this from from a um, from an opera. I think I think this is a Macbeth actually. Uh, so. Um, I'm still not so proud of, of of these drawings, you know. But, um, but again, you know, um, you know, give my, give myself some permission, you know, to, you know, um, you know, not make the best drawings. The this the these are drawings of uh, Yoji Yo Yoji uh, Liao. He he he's a a male Japanese um, model here, and he does have a body like that. Um, he's not very tall, but he's very, he's got a very nice body, very, very, very muscular, very muscular body. Um, yeah, this, this one didn't, meh, this one could have been, could have been better. It's more, more Yoji, yeah. I can't tell you who this is, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this is Mariko. No, another model named Mar Mariko, maybe. Okay. Got got a little bit crazy here with 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 the with with the wash. Uh, yeah, this this is Mariko here. Yeah, some 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 quick sketches here. Okay. Hmm. I can't remember this model. I'm so sorry. I can't remember. Uh, this is from Imagination, I think. Mm, I can't remember. Maybe Imagination. Uh, some some field watercolor here. Or anatomy studies. Ah, uh, yeah. This this is um. I'm sorry. 
forget her name. Aki, a a a Akiko, is her is her name. She's she's a she's a model that does um, uh, kimono kimono modeling, and she is really wonderful. She was very sweet. She's a very nice model, and you know the thing like the the the, the kimono is is not very conducive for for doing very dynamic drawings, but but she, you know she she did these these very nice subtle movements which created a a sense of uh, of rhythm and and and, and um, and character there that I really liked. Yeah, so okay. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. So all right. All right. So that is that is that. That is that is my 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 first Moleskin book, okay? So again, you know, um you know, there there are drawings in here that I that I like and there are drawings in here that I'm not so proud of, but uh the whole point is like again, you know, to you know, um work these things out you know this this is where you you work things out this this you know you're, you're not trying to you know i mean it's, i'm not trying to like you know make make a book you know that i'm i'm going to try to sell to somebody you know this this is something that i want as a record for myself to come back to the reference and see like where i have improved and where i still where i still need to improve okay okay guys i'll be back uh next uh, week with or at least sorry next week or i'll be back soon with another video okay see you soon. see you soon bye bye